first day on the cheese wagon ever. Ever. Are you excited? Mm -mm. What's up, Cairn Creek Cowboys and Cowgirls? In today's episode, we're going to do some janky skid loader lifting to cut trees. But the most exciting thing we're going to do today is show you guys how we're going to put up some white oak board and batten siding fresh off the wood miser sawmill. Coming in hot. Wednesday, Labor Day week. Worked my tail off today. I earned my keep on a project. Working on, I want to show you guys a few things. Pond's low. Pond's like 18 to 20 inches low. I mean, rain may be coming in, but this week in Labor Day, we got people probably gonna be swimming. And I love for this thing to be full and crisp. So I'm got the old garden hose out. Fill her up, Buck. So it's actually ran for about a day and a half. <laughs> and it's probably gonna run until Friday. But we're gonna go down now and work on that siding on the horse barn. If we sneak down through here, you got some white oak cut. We're gonna do board and batten on this side and that'll really make that outside stand out. Let's go. No hat today, the hat's in the truck. I don't know why, it's just, it's too hot for hat right now. Oh, another thing, I can hardly, the blade wants to, this white oak, I think it gets hot. Uh, it's so hard, the blade wants to, down through there. So I'm trying to keep it straight. Boom. Anytime I do trim, like this, I like to keep about a quarter inch, quarter inch reveal around it. Just keeps it clean, especially working with this white oak to where the boards aren't straight. It gives you some play. So I'm going to eyeball that by right there. Way back. Same thing on this top trim. I'm going to actually leave it hang over about a half inch on each side. All right, let's do the ends first. See that, I'm amphibious. Left hand, right hand. Just kidding, I know it's ambidextrous. Donnie Baker says amphibious. Let's see what we got in the horse barn refrigerator. Oh, I got white claw, natural light, ketchup I wouldn't like to have water in honestly the calm before the storm it's peace fire right now I'm the only one here that doesn't happen very often but there's something I want to address while we're taking this break or while I'm taking this break there's something I want to address so we have a lot of people always ask about the Cairn Creek the property it's really not a public place. We had a couple people over last week stop out wanting to camp. Uh, you know, we have the nice sign for the entrance that was made for me by a friend, which was super awesome. I appreciate that still, Lindley and Don. Um, but the thing I want to address is it, it is still a private property, and it's our dream property. Uh, we love what we're doing out here, and just, uh, you know, being on YouTubes or showing videos, it lets everybody into our lives out here at the property. But it's still a private property, and the biggest reason I bring this up is last night we had some folks from the county. We got, uh, I don't know if we got turned in by anybody, but somebody from the county came out, and they were pretty excited about us having a campground without getting the proper permits and stuff. So we're in a township in a county that's unzoned, so I could put in a thousand campsite hookups if I wanted to. I could put in a thousand hydrants water hydrants. That's all stuff I can do 
on my private property, it's not a public campground. You know, if, if I was to do a public campground, there's a whole list of stuff I'd have to go through. I'd have to go through, uh, you know, stormwater runoff, uh, retention ponds, uh, electric plans. All that would have to go through a proper channel. And, and I don't want a public campground. I love it the way it is. We are fortunate to have so many family and friends that we get along with great. And they're always welcome out here. I'll continue to add campsites for my family and friends. And it's not for a profit for just anybody to come out. And I'm not saying that to be rude. I'm in no way, shape, or form uh, that type of person. So uh, I hope you all understand that. I'm trying to get that off my chest and get it out there that, once again, this is not a public campground. Uh, it's our private paradise. It's public only to our family and friends, and they're welcome out here pretty much any time they want to come out and camp or play or help me work. <laughs> That's it. Let's get back to work now. There you have it, white oak, board and batten siding, fresh off the Soma, fresh off the Wood Miser LT35, cut five days ago. So it's still green, uh, that log's been down for a little bit, but it's still very wet. Those boards are heavy, but as you can see, it turned out beautiful. The only two things I had left to do, the door went to wait until it dries. So that'd be a winter project. For now, that's gonna be our opening. Uh, and the reason we have this opening on this side is to get stuff to the finish room once the finish room's done. We'll be able to lift stuff up, as you can see. This video that we just finished up here, we'll call it the skid loader sketchy. So, so I know we got some people out there that are safety police. You see me in the bucket with a chainsaw cutting tree limbs. You see me in the bucket here. <sighs> Anyways, that's our white oak board and batten siding. Turned out beautiful. We got to do the door. We'll do that this winter. And we've got to trim off that bottom. We're going to let it shrink. So that bottom piece will be cut off. I'll cut off all the batten splush. I'll put a piece of trim board across that bottom. I'd have really cleaned it up, but I want to wait until it all dries and shrinks and does its thing. So as it sits now, we'll throw a coat of probably just a clear coat seal to keep the moisture out, any more moisture out. And we're all on. Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for working with us. Cairn Creek, over and out. Here comes my wife. Oh, I'm in trouble now, probably for something. It's Colby and Coco. You heathens. Do you like the board and batten siding, white oak? I guess. Hmm. Appreciate it. Take it sideways, buddy. Take it sideways.